Well, I'd like to greet everybody again with another beautiful Thursday afternoon. This is November 18. At uh, malapit na po matapos ang November and soon we will be entering December. And in December, please uh, take note that uh, we have our December Thanksgiving, Sunday Thanksgiving, and that will be on uh, December 19 at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, plus on the 24th Candlelight Communion Service. And uh, this November 28 to December 6 is the week of Hanukkah. Maaga pong Hanukkah this time, and we are following the Jewish calendar. So, happy Hanukkah advance to everybody. And so, right now, i like us to, uh, to uh, go to our topic. And I would like to talk to you about a very important truth since uh, we are about to enter the new year, and it has to do with our future. And I want to talk to you about strengthening our future, which is very, very important. And how do you strengthen your future? It begins right now. It begins at the present. Whatever you do right now will affect your future, whether good or bad. So, nasa sa atin po ito. And I like to, uh, to talk to you uh, three points in regards to how we are to strengthen our future. But before that, mag-amputa sa atong uh, ginoo. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for your goodness and your love. And uh, you have given us this time that uh, we can uh, be gathered and uh, be listening to your word. As always, I commit myself to you and use me under your anointing to deliver your word and with clarity of words in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I'd like to give you three advices of how you can strengthen your future. And let's talk about number one. Build your hope for a good future. How do you strengthen your future? Well, you have to build your hope. Hope is a very important factor in seeing a good future. So I've said we are nearing the new year again, though it's still November, but we should not go into 2022 carrying our disappointments, our frustrations and pains. I will always say this whenever the new year uh, comes around, that uh, this thing should not be put into your suitcases, so to speak, as one of your luggage into the new year. These things uh, will drag you and overload you and you need to lighten up your uh, travel and uh, not be burdened by anything. In fact, let me give you a scripture that will help you build your hope. Let's go to the book of Job chapter 11, 18. You will be secure. Why? Because there is hope. You will look about and take your rest in safety. Take a look at that. You will be secure. Why? Because there is hope. And I believe there is hope for everyone who is watching right now. And this hope will make you what? Secure. So what will make our lives secure? You're just uh, like a uh, building founded very well uh, into the ground. Because you have hope, okay? Hope is also the anchor for your soul so that you will not be buffeted by the uh, waves and the winds in the sea. So don't look at your future as something dark for you. Wang yung titignan na madilim ang yung kinabukasan. Though the world will see a lot of evils and darkness, just like how we have been in this uh, pandemic for close to two years now. But to, uh, to us, we have to have hope. And then we can be secure in life. And when we look around or look about, we will take our rest in safety. And that's what we need as we venture into 2022. Let there be rest in our souls. Wag tayong mag-worry because your hope 
will make you secure, okay? You will be secure because there is hope for you. Can you type it? Those of you who are with me right now and type, I will be secure because there is hope for me. I will be secure because there is hope for me. So, asama na ito makita ang atong paglaong. Where do we find our hope? Well, I'd like to give you three things here. Firstly, and this is number one, God is our hope. Psalm 25:21, May integrity and uprightness protect me because my hope is in you. Psalm 71, verse 5, For you have been my hope, O Sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. So, number one, God is your hope. You have to believe that God will be there and He will give you a bright future. You are secure because God is the one who is anchoring your souls. He is the one providing you with the hope of everything. So, always hope in the Lord. Just like uh, David here, he confesses here that his hope is in the Lord. You have been my hope. My hope is in you. So, always put your hope in God. And remember what is hope in the Bible. It is an expectation of a future good. So, you are expecting the future to be good because God is your hope. Secondly, God's Word is our hope. Psalm 119.74 May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have put my hope in your Word. And then uh, 119.43 Do not snatch the word of truth from my mouth, for I have put my hope in your laws, your Torah, or your word. And then Psalm 130, verse 5, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in His word I put my hope. So we have God, but also we have His words. And His words are powerful. His words are enough to make us live a secure life. Yan ang ating pag-asa, ang salita ng Diyos. Dili ang mga pulong sa mga tao. Okay? Right now, panahon na naman ng um, politics here sa Pilipinas. And uh, you will hear a lot of promises. And in fact, you are already hearing a lot of promises from these politicians. Do we put our hope in their words? No. They are just getting your votes. But we put our hope in the Word of God. That's why you need to keep reading the Word. You need to meditate on the Word. You need to dwell uh, in the Word of God. Always receiving the Word. Always chewing the Word. And when you have that, you will always have an anchor for your soul. And that is your hope. Thirdly, God's unfailing love is our hope. Ang uh, dili mapakyas nga gugma sa ginoo, mao ang atong paglaong. Psalm 147.11 The Lord delights in those who fear Him, who put their hope in His what? Unfailing love. Can you type, God loves me? Come on, type it, God loves me. And here is the third thing that can always help you find your hope. Not just the love of God, but the unfailing love of God. Ang, ang dili mapakyas nga gugma sa ginoo. Always trust in God. Okay? His love will never fail you. His love is always there. Though people will fail you, the love of God is still uh, and always reaching out to you every day of your life. And uh, you can always find confidence though. Uh, no matter what goes on in your life, you know, you can always trust in the unfailing love of God. God loves you eternally. Okay, so put your confidence in the love of God. So those three things, God, His Word, and His unfailing love. 
This will help you find your hope. And now, let's talk about the effects of having hope. Okay. Firstly, we will have a bright future and our hope will not be cut off. Proverbs 23, 18. NIV, there is surely a what? Future hope for you and your hope will not be cut off. Revised Standard Version, surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. So here is an assurance for every one of us. Surely, there is hope for you and me. Hindi tayo mawawala ng pag-asa because God is our hope. And our hope will not be cut off. Meaning to say, cannot be destroyed. Hindi pwedeng ma-cut and be separated from you. The hope that God is uh, giving us is always eternal. And you can always uh, have uh, a good look at your future. You have a bright future. 2022, 2023, 2024 uh, will be bright for you. Right now, we know that on term ng president is already... Uh, malapit na. na. He'll end his term in about six months. Okay? And then, thinking lang, no? Next president will be what? Uh, my term siya for another uh, for six years. And imagine six years. Okay? I'm going 62. And by the time uh, matapos in term with uh, this new president, I'm nearing 70. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Six years, very long. But one thing you have to know, God will be there for you. God will be there for me. We have a bright future in God and we can always be dependent on Him and our hope cannot be cut off. And then uh, secondly, our strength will be renewed. The effects of having hope, our strength will be renewed. Favorite, uh, uh, one of the favorite uh, verses, rather, of many Christians. But those who hope in the Lord will what? Renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Wow, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And one of the meanings of renew here means to sprout again. To move it, okay? It's sprouting again after going through a time of dryness or uh, sabi natin uh, there is uh, a problem with uh, the land naging uh, tuyot. So, it is sprouting again. So, there is always freshness that comes in that will later make you be ready to bear fruit once again. You will sprout again. Maybe you have gone through a time that you almost have collapsed and you lost things. Maring nawala ang marami or you kind of um, see, uh, saw yourself as someone na devastated. Let me tell you that God will be there and your hope will re- renew your strength. You will sprout Proud again. Tutubo ka ulit and uh, you will grow and you will bear fruit. Okay? The devil cannot stop your future. God is your hope. Amen? And then we know Jeremiah 29, 11, the effects of uh, this uh, verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to what? Give you hope and a future. See how hope and future, our future, are connected together? Plans to give you hope and a future. Definitely, if you have hope, you will have a future. If you don't have hope, wala ang future. You're not looking at a bright future. But if there is hope, you are assured that you will have a good future. So these are one of the ways that you can strengthen your faith. 
or your future rather. So, huwag tayong uh, uh, mag-alintana sa Tagalog. Don't worry. Your God will always be there. So, that's the first advice. And let's go to the second advice. Strengthen your faith to believe God for the impossible. So, this is uh, one of the things that can help us strengthen our faith, our future. And that is to strengthen our faith. Strengthening our faith to believe God for the impossible. You know, your future will always have some expectations of the unknown. And there will be a lot of uh, challenges. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. Ilang. You don't know what will happen tonight. So, your future will always give you some good expectations of the unknown and the possible challenges that you might face in life. Normally, na atay mga pangutana, no? Uh, like, what awaits me and my family ahead? What uh, awaits my business? What about my education? What about my job? What about my uh, studies? What about my career? And so on. Natay daga mga pangutana sa atong uh, uh, kinabuhi. And uh, because we don't know what is up ahead. But uh, God does not want us to doubt Him and His ability because He alone can save, He alone can deliver, He alone can bless, He alone can protect, He alone can heal, and He alone can prosper us. Jeremiah 32, 27 Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Don't ever doubt God. You have hope in a future. And God gives us the assurance here that He is Jehovah, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? May mahirap ang bagay para sa akin? So, what do you think is our answer to this question? Is there anything too hard for me? Well, Surely, and definitely, nothing is too hard for God to do. So keep your hope high in God. Keep your uh, hope high also in the Word of God and His unfailing love. God will be there and He will give us a very beautiful future. Now remember these words of the Lord Jesus in the Gospels. Mark 10:27. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. So simply kind of God, uh, Jesus um, quoted uh, from Jeremiah 32, 27. Mark 11, 22 to 24. Have faith in God, Jesus answered, I uh, tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So have faith in God. Okay? Our faith is, uh, uh, in God is uh, still the same, should never change. And we know uh, that our God will work out His plans and His purposes in our lives. Only that we must believe in Him. Can you type it and say, only believe in Him. Okay, only believe in Him. Thank you for your interaction. Okay, in this way I know that uh, you are receiving the Word of God well. And now let's go to uh, my third advice, my uh, uh, last advice for this session. Move towards the future with confidence that God will still be with you and will not fail you. Okay? Move towards the future with what? Confidence that God will still be with you and He will not fail you. 
So knowing all these truths that uh, we just have looked at, we can move uh, towards 2022-2023 and the succeeding years with confidence that God will be with us and He will not and never fail us. We can always uh, be secure. We can always find confidence that God will be with us always, all the days of our lives. That's why David said, I was... Uh, once young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken and their children breaking bread. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Forsaken by whom? God. Because God never forsakes the righteous people. He will not forsake you, but He will go with you into the future. He will go with you through this pandemic and you know that God will uh, be there to keep you safe and all of us and one day this pandemic will be gone amen so god, with god on our side everything will fall into place for us so since kasama natin ang Diyos, lahat po will fall into their proper places for us god will still be with us he will still walk with us he will still talk to us he will still bless us and provide for us. And that's uh, our assurance. So, ayotang magbagulbul. Don't ever complain. Don't ever doubt God because He loves you. He cares for you. Now, take a look at these verses. And I want you to open your hearts so that your faith uh, will be built up to believe God for the impossible in the coming year and years. Psalm 60 verse 12. With God, we will gain the victory. He will trample down on our enemies. With God, we will gain the victory and He will trample down our enemies. Now, this verse is exactly repeated in Psalm 108 verse 13. So take a, a note of two things here. With God, we will always be the winner and the victory. With God, we will gain the victory. But uh, notice first, with God. Kauban ang Diyos. You got to be with God and God with you. And I know He is always with us. And with God, kauban nato ang Diyos, we will always come out as the winner and the victor in any battle that we face. Okay? Say, my God is with me. Type it and say, my God is with me. You have to believe God is with you. Though you may feel Him or not, the Word of God never lies that He is with you. Secondly, with God, He will trample down our enemies. Meaning to say, He will totally bring down and trample all that comes, uh, all that come against us. Lahat, the enemies of life, the enemies that will seek to bring you down. Here's a promise that God will trample down our enemies. So this guarantees our future victory. And you can look at uh, the coming years with full confidence, okay? Mas magandang mag-prepare tayo as early as right now than later on mag-preach ako ng aking New Year's message. Uh, we are going ahead already and uh, that will help us already prepare ourselves. And then uh, lastly, don't lack uh, confidence. Be assured that God will work out things for you even in Davao. You don't have to leave this city or our country uh, to be blessed by God or to find the greener pasture. God can bless you here. God can prosper you here. And some of our people can attest to that fact if you will just find your confidence in God. Just move uh, with confidence and full confidence that God uh, uh, will go with you. Your God will not fail you. Three more uh, 
verses and then we'll, uh, we're done with this. Psalm 71 verse 5, For you have been my hope, O Sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. Proverbs 3.26, For the Lord will be what? Your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Jeremiah 17.7, but blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Nasan ang iyong uh, confidence, kumpiansa mo, your assurance, all must be in the Lord, in Jehovah God, in our Father, in Jesus' name. So I hope that you have received the Word of God at this time. And uh, may the Lord's blessing always be upon us hear the word, receive the word, believe the word, and act on the word. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we are thankful for this uh, time. Thank you for the word that we have received. And I pray that everyone uh, will uh, find themselves already uh, having the confidence that their future will look good for them because you will go with us you will not fail us god i pray uh, for everyone all of them the members of praise revival center that they will enter into the coming uh, year with the full confidence and assurance that you will be with them and you will give them a bright future as your word said so thank you lord and i give you praise and i give you glory in jesus name Amen and amen. So, palakpakan natin si Lord. Praise God. So, I hope that uh, you have received another beautiful word this afternoon. And keep it in your heart. Ponder these things. Pag-isip-isipan, pag nilay nilayan pag bulay bulayan And uh, let's grow always in the Word of God. So, again, i like to remind everybody of our Thanksgiving uh, December Thanksgiving and that will be on the 19th of December and again I would like to uh, make follow-ups with the, those of you who have uh, great testimonies connected with Thanksgiving please uh, testify take a video of yourself mga five minutes and send that uh, video to us and we will play them during Thanksgiving Sunday praise the Lord and then December uh, 24, Candlelight Communion and uh, Hanukkah. We will start uh, celebrating around uh, that time or within uh, the time of Hanukkah, November 28, December 6. So at this point, again, I like to remind everybody to be faithful with your tithes and offerings and uh, also your giving to Project Joshua. And uh, if you have coins, please give... Uh, sa sedaka uh, coin offering natin because uh, around the mid of December we will be uh, buying foods for uh, children or any elderly that uh, are needing our help which uh, uh, we have started already several years ago so makatulong po ito sa pag uh, tutulong pag uh, uh, tutulong natin sa mga taong uh, ito and God wants us to bless them all okay so right now mag pray tayo and uh, we will close in prayer and I will again pronounce the ironic blessing thank you very much God for this uh, wonderful afternoon and the word that we have received I pray Lord God that you will continue to bless your people <clears throat> as they are faithful with the tithes, the offerings, the Daka coins, and Project Joshua. And I pray that you will bless them tremendously, Lord God. And I know, Lord God, that uh, you have a great future for them. Walk with them, Lord God, this weekend. Bless them mightily with your love and your goodness. And thank you, Lord, that you are the future of everyone. We give you praise and honor in the name of Jesus. And may Yehovah bless you and keep you. May Yehovah make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Yehovah lift up His countenance upon you 
and grant you his shalom both now and forever in jesus name amen and amen please don't forget our service uh, tomorrow uh, night and again sunday at nine o'clock don't be late because god will be there waiting for you god bless you all and once again shalom to everybody